And Giannis is on pace to break, pace to break his record as the only player in league history to average 30 or more points per game while shooting 60% from the field. He did it last season while averaging about 30 points. He's shooting 60 percent. He's shooting close to 61. Does Giannis deserve more credit for how he's playing this season, despite the Bucks team struggle? <laughs> he said, so he's shooting 60 percent, 61. So which one is better mathematically, 60 percent or <laughs> or what's the what's the or 35? What what is how does that league average is like 37 percent from three, but. Giannis, 60%, like I say, shooting about 48% from the mid-range, which is, is a dying art nowadays. He's got to keep working on it. He's realized that <laughs> everybody's going to back up. So I can just get right here and just shoot this. <laughs> just, oh, we're going to back up? And then you're going to overrun the three? Just, I look like I'm about to shoot a three. You're going to jump over me? Oh, shit, lay up! Like, you see when Dame... And, when you see when Dame decided to look like he was about to shoot a three and then just drove, no one was there? Nobody. No, like, no contest, not a motherfucker. He, he didn't have to do one of these. He'd carve alone that bitch damn near. Just <laughs> layup drill. Like, it's, it's written all over the court that y'all can shoot 60% if you just stop shooting so many threes. <laughs> Mr. B, does Giannis deserve more credit for how he's playing despite the Bucks? I mean, they started off kind of, started off bad, so. Yeah. No Middleton, yeah. no. I mean, the squad is not. Stop saying that. Uh, he ain't Middleton. been in three fucking years. He's an important part of the process. He was, he was. Big in the playoffs last season. I know they did not advance, but nonetheless. I mean, it's still too early. You got Dame and Giannis, ain't no excuse. Yeah, I mean, it's still no too early, though. Up. Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. The Milwaukee Bucks have shown a lack of flexibility in their gameplay, with key players failing to provide the necessary support for Giannis Antetokounmpo to truly shine. Despite his phenomenal performances this season, the Bucks have not lived up to his standard. Giannis deserves more recognition for his contributions and dedication to the game. If Milwaukee cannot match his ambition, the Los Angeles Lakers could be the ideal stage for him to unleash his full potential. Teaming up with Dalton Nett, along with the likes of LeBron James and Anthony Davis, would create the NBA's most powerful duo and lead to championship glory. Giannis Antetokounmpo's contributions to the Milwaukee Bucks are undeniable. Week after week, game after game, he delivers numbers that not only define excellence but also reshape the standards of modern basketball. In week five of the 2024-25 NBA season, Giannis elevated his team to a flawless 4-0 record, showcasing performances that would make any fan marvel. Averaging 32.5 points, 10.8 rebounds, 7.3 assists, and 1.5 blocks while shooting a staggering 61.2% from the field, Giannis proved why he is one of the most dominant forces in the game today. Yet beneath these dazzling statistics lies a troubling reality Giannis is carrying the bucks on his shoulders with little to no help. His triple-double performance against the Indiana Pacers on November 22nd, where he recorded 37 points, 10 rebounds, and 11 assists, was a masterclass in individual brilliance. But where was the team's support? Where was the collective effort required to turn his heroics into long-term, sustainable success? This lack of balance between Giannis' stellar output and his teammates' inability to match his intensity is glaring. The numbers tell an even more painful story. Giannis currently leads the NBA in scoring with 32.4 points per game, ranks sixth in rebounds with 11.9 per game, and is tied for 19th in assists with 6.4 per game. He is shooting an impressive 60.8% from the field, ranking 8th in the league. And yet, despite all of this, the Bucks sit uncomfortably in a middle-of-the-pack position, unable to truly contend with the NBA's elite teams. This is not just a case of a superstar underutilized, it is a franchise failing its most valuable asset. The Bucks' lack of flexibility and inability to innovate their playstyle have become their Achilles' heel. While Giannis adapts, evolves, and consistently brings new dimensions to his game, the Bucks remain stuck in a predictable system. The lack of creativity in their offensive schemes and an over-reliance on Giannis to solve every problem on the court have made them one-dimensional and easy to counter for top-tier opponents. This rigid structure not only limits Giannis but also creates a toxic cycle where the team's shortcomings are masked by his brilliance. In moments when Giannis does falter, or when defenses manage to contain him, the Bucks have no backup plan. The supporting cast, often inconsistent and uninspired, has failed to provide the depth required for a championship-caliber team. Role players struggle to step up in crucial moments, 
and the absence of reliable secondary scoring options places an unfair burden on Giannis. The frustration is palpable. Giannis, a player known for his loyalty and relentless work ethic, deserves a team that matches his hunger for greatness. Instead, he is shackled to a franchise that appears content with mediocrity, unwilling or unable to make the changes necessary to compete at the highest level. In stark contrast, the Los Angeles Lakers represent everything the Milwaukee Bucks are not. The Lakers are a franchise built on adaptability, innovation, and a relentless pursuit of greatness. They understand what it takes to build around a superstar and provide the resources needed to succeed. For Giannis, this is not just an opportunity, it is a lifeline. The Lakers system is designed to maximize the potential of their star players. From offensive flexibility to defensive schemes tailored to shut down opponents, the Lakers have the infrastructure Giannis needs to thrive. Beyond tactics, the Lakers offer something far more valuable, a culture of winning. With 17 championships to their name and a legacy that includes some of the greatest players in basketball history, the Lakers are a franchise that understands the weight of greatness and the sacrifices required to achieve it. For Giannis, the Lakers represent a chance to escape the stagnation of Milwaukee and embrace a new chapter in his career. This is not just about individual success, it is about legacy. The Lakers can provide the platform for Giannis to cement his place among the all-time greats, to become not just a dominant player but a legendary one. One of the most tantalizing prospects of Giannis joining the Lakers is the potential partnership with Dalton Neck. Neck, a rising star with immense potential, has already shown flashes of brilliance that suggest he could be a game-changer in the right environment. His versatility, scoring ability, and basketball IQ make him an ideal running mate for Giannis. Together, they would form a duo that could dominate both ends of the floor. Giannis's power, athleticism, and ability to control the game inside the paint would be perfectly complemented by Neck's perimeter shooting and playmaking. This combination would stretch defenses to their breaking point, creating opportunities not just for themselves but for the entire team. The potential impact of this duo goes beyond statistics. It represents a shift in the balance of power in the NBA. With Giannis and Neck leading the charge, the Lakers would become an unstoppable force, capable of dismantling even the most formidable opponents. This is not just speculation, it is a vision of what the future of basketball could look like. Adding Giannis to a roster that already includes LeBron James and Anthony Davis would elevate the Lakers to a level of dominance rarely seen in NBA history. LeBron, with his unparalleled court vision and leadership, would provide the perfect foundation for Giannis to build upon. Davis, with his elite two-way game, would create a defensive wall alongside Giannis, ensuring the Lakers could dominate on both ends of the floor. This trio, combined with Neck's emerging talent, would create a lineup that is both balanced and explosive. Each player would bring unique strengths to the table, creating a dynamic that is greater than the sum of its parts. The Lakers would not just be a team, they would be a dynasty in the making. Giannis Antetokounmpo has poured his heart and soul into the Milwaukee Bucks organization, delivering performances that have redefined excellence and cemented his status as one of the most dominant players of his era. Yet, despite his unwavering loyalty and tireless efforts, it is becoming increasingly clear that the Bucks are failing him. Their lack of adaptability, strategic vision, and cohesive support has left Giannis isolated in his pursuit of greatness a lone warrior fighting an uphill battle with insufficient reinforcements. This is more than just a question of team performance, it is a matter of legacy. Giannis has the potential to become one of the all-time greats, to be spoken of in the same breath as legends like Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. But to achieve that, he needs a franchise that can match his ambition, creativity, and hunger for championships. The Milwaukee Bucks, as they stand today, are simply not that franchise. The Los Angeles Lakers, on the other hand, represent everything Giannis needs, they offer not just a change of scenery, but a complete transformation of his career trajectory. With their championship pedigree, dynamic roster, and willingness to build around their superstars, the Lakers are uniquely positioned to help Giannis reach his full potential. This isn't just about winning games, it's about building a dynasty, etching his name in the annals of NBA history, and finally realizing the greatness that his talent deserves. Imagine the possibilities Giannis dominating in the paint, Dalton Neck lighting up the perimeter, LeBron James orchestrating the offense with his unmatched vision, and Anthony Davis locking down opponents with his elite defensive skills. This isn't just a lineup, it's a juggernaut, a team that could redefine the balance of power in the NBA for years to come. The Lakers provide Giannis with the tools, the teammates, and the stage to become not just a champion, but a legend. 
If the Bucks cannot rise to the occasion if they continue to squander the brilliance of their once-in-a-generation superstar, then Giannis must make the difficult but necessary decision to move on. His career, his legacy, and his aspirations for greatness demand it. The window for achieving true dominance in the NBA is narrow, and every moment spent on a team that cannot support his ambitions is a moment wasted. The time for change is now. The time for Giannis to step onto the stage that matches his greatness is here. And that stage, undoubtedly, is in Los Angeles. It's not just a new chapter in his career, it's the start of a legacy that will echo through the ages. If Giannis wants to be remembered not just as a great player but as one of the greatest, he must take the leap. The Bucks have had their chance. Now, it's time for the Lakers to elevate Giannis to the heights he was always destined to reach.